Hey guys, it's currently um, 8.30 I think, or 8.20 or whatever. I'm getting my wisdom teeth surgery at 9, so I guess we'll see how it goes. And yes, this is my new room. I moved um, over the summer a couple months ago. Um, so yeah, now we're in a different part of Westchester and it's, uh, it's fun, it's great, it's north. I'm just procrastinating to get in the car because I'm nervous. So here we go. <laughs> So this is the night of my wisdom teeth. I have gauze in my mouth right now and it feels um, from like a scale from zero to my tonsillectomy, probably like a five, honestly. Like my tonsillectomy was so bad. I do not like recommend getting that. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the doctor said that I woke up and I started singing about hamburgers, which I usually do sing after surgery, but yeah, that wasn't too surprising. After I got my tonsils taken out, they said that I sang the whole Mamma Mia soundtrack. I don't remember that at all. I like really can't even speak and I've just been watching Love Island all day today and just passing out, waking up, passing out, waking up. This video was pretty rushed because I wanted to start a couple days ago. Oh my God, I just look so silly. I'm gonna look back at this and be like, what the hell? I wanted to start a couple of days ago, but it was just really hectic with um, the semester ending on Friday and then my wisdom teeth getting taken out today. And then I have two weeks to kind of recuperate. Um, and then I'm taking a class over the winter session. So it's, it's just like no breaks. So day two, my face is so swollen. Um, and I'm like, if I have stuff on my face, it's because I just really don't care. Um, I've been trying to get my mac and cheese from Boston Market, which I can't even reheat because I'm not supposed to eat hot food. So, yeah. And I can only eat one piece at a time like this. And swallow and hope I don't choke. Ow. And yeah, I look like a Roblox character. Or a Minecraft character. I don't know, there's stuff sucks 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 but it's not as bad as my tonsillectomy or my reoccurring knee problems so i guess uh could be worse but it could be better
It's day six. Um, I haven't really been vlogging or anything because my face was just killing me. I mean, even now it's like a lot of pain. Um, but yeah, I mean, Christmas was really nice. I wanna show you guys everything I got, but I'm just like really not feeling up to it. So I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow or the next day, but the swelling's gone down and I was just rinsing with salt and water and I spit out one of the stitches. So I'm assuming that means it's healing because there was no blood or anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really didn't expect this whole procedure to be so um, crazy. I kind of just thought, oh, like whatever, they're just taking out some teeth, it'll be fine. And six days later, it's like every single night, like when I'm going to sleep, it's the worst pain ever. And it, kind of comes in waves for me like my brother and my sister both got their teeth taken out and they didn't really have that same um kind of effect but yeah with me it's kind of like in waves so during the day i'm fine at like 5 p.m is when it starts to really hurt so um it's 1 right now on sunday so i've got four more hours of energy in my body before this starts to kill me um but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I've just been chilling, watching Love Island, watching um, just TV in general, and just trying to take it really easy so I don't get a dry socket or anything. And that's about it. I mean, my dining room table is coming today, finally. My mom bought it in um, August, along with the chairs and like a couple other things. And because of COVID, I guess, it hasn't come in. Like it's been so pushed back. So it's finally, finally, finally coming today. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, it probably looks so ridiculous right now, but it's fine. I like, can't really move my mouth and it just feels so weird. Like I can't even fully close my mouth because it like feels strange to have my teeth touch each other and my jaw, I like lock jaw in this side of my face. Like if you could see, it's so, puffed out usually I have like a more defined jaw <laughs> but now it's just like bulbous it's a bubble um one of my friends Michaela said I look like the crimson chin so shout out to her <laughs> I love her I can't even laugh um but yeah I'm in a lot of pain so I'm just gonna lie back down and take it easy for the rest of the day this is me my eighth day um, the only reason why I'm even able to talk right now is because I got four lidocaine shots in my gum because I had an infection. Um, so now I have to be on, um, what is it? I'm like so out of it right now. Um, uh, what is it? What? I'm like, my head is just, oh, antibiotics for five days. Um, so New Year's Eve is out of the question, um, which is just great, and I got more pills, which is just so, just so great, um, and yeah, I'm just really loving this, it's so great. Today is day eight of my wisdom teeth surgery, um, just keeps going, it's very painful, um, today is honestly not that bad, but last night was terrible. Like once the lidocaine shots wore off, it was like the worst pain of my whole entire life. Um, so I've kind of just been trying to figure out how I'm even gonna do this video at this point because um, I really didn't expect it to be this bad. And I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas, like show you my new house. I mean, as you could tell, I dyed my hair. I couldn't even like speak about that or haven't even thought about it, honestly. Um, but I'm sure none of you want to hear me do that as I sound like Stacy Delson from Zoey 101. But yeah, I mean, if you look at it, I know I look like beat right now, but <laughs> my face on this side's like a little swollen still. This side's like super swollen, but I'm getting like some of my face definition back. Like it's not, I don't know, like I can feel my cheekbone here. Like on this side, it's still like kind of not where my cheekbone's supposed to be. So, I mean, that's good, I guess. Um, that I can't feel it, but yeah. Also, like, from the crying, I've been crying, like, every night, like, four times a day because it's so painful. And my skin is, like, so dry. So if I look greasy right now, I just put so much face oil on and it still feels like, like, I feel like I have, like, crocodile skin. Like, it's gross. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for today. I'm just gonna chill. I had some oatmeal um, in the morning. I've been eating two packets of oatmeal for breakfast. My diet is like the funniest thing ever. Two packets of oatmeal for breakfast, like 10 pudding cups throughout the day. Like I call them wet eggs, but it's just like scrambled eggs that with cheese. Um, and like, that's it. And then like 45 pills to dull the pain. Um, so yeah, I mean, everything's really dandy. This is such a great way to end such a terrible, terrible year um, with just another terrible thing happening in it. So I could just completely, like this 2020, I am literally like taking the memory card out of my brain and throwing it into the fireplace and there will, I will never remember 2020. Actually, that's not true because then I missed the New Year's Eve concert with the Strokes and I do not want to forget that because that night was so crazy. I literally got to hug Albert Hammond Jr. and I know probably no one knows who that is, but oh my god, my body like ascended somewhere that night. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like at this point, it's like 2020 was just such crap that I might as well just make it even crappier by getting this surgery just so every crappy thing can happen and then 2021 will be my year and yeah i mean i know everyone says that every year but hopefully <laughs> hopefully it really will be um because i'm also applying to grad school oh my god like there's like so many things because i haven't vlogged in so long um i'm applying to grad school but i mean that's hush hush because i don't know if i'm gonna get in and what's going on with that and i still have some um applications to send out and stuff so that is gonna be in the works um so yeah stay tuned the last video that i took i accidentally deleted um and it basically had my christmas haul which was just makeup that my dad got and then the new camera um so i'm just gonna link that down below and basically the last video that i had filmed was just a summary of saying like 2020 has been crap but we're on to better things um so yeah that's pretty much it i mean i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is day 13 so the swelling has definitely gone down um it's still like a little tense but it's not too crazy like, it's definitely not as bad as it was um so yeah i mean these are things just to keep in mind like i thought that this was going to be a really soothing easy process and it just was not so when you get your wisdom teeth taken out definitely keep that in mind that it's it is a two week like healing time and a recuperation time it's not something that you could just get done on a weekend and i know that a lot of like college kids get it done for the winter session or like in between um which I would like obviously say to do, but like just keep in mind also to book that in like November, October, because I know that even with my like oral surgeon on Central, um, I called in September, I think, and it was all booked until, so, excuse me, until December. So definitely book that in advance. Think about this in advance. It's not something that you could do quick and easy. And basically just for 2021, um, I wish you guys all the best of luck and for better days ahead because this year was terrible. Um, and I hope we all just don't have to ever experience this ever again after this goes away, after everyone takes their vaccines. And yeah, I mean, I still think we have a long way to go, a long way ahead of us, but I think that if we all work together and stay home and just follow the rules and everything that this will go away a lot faster um so yeah i'm sending my love and prayers to everyone